Hello everybody, my name is Amit and you're watching aptitude360.online. Uh, this is video number four in the series of divisibility rule. If you have not seen those three videos, go in the description box or you go over here, but make sure that you have seen those three videos only, then you proceed with this, right? What do I say is, this is what we need to solve. Ek bar problem aap achhe se par lo. And then we will we will be solving it. Har ek problem ke jaise, har ek video ke jaise, mein bolta rehta hoon ki aap video pause karke question ko solve karlo, right? Because this is not the live session. How many four digit palindromes? So first of all, we need to understand what is the meaning of palindromes, right? Uh, palindrome kisko bolte hai? Ek wo number jo jaisa aage se ho, waisa hi piche se ho. Usko hum bolte hai palindrome. Say for example, agar mere paas hua 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So can I say this? Is it, is it a palindrome? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, this one. Chai yaha se shiru kar do, chai yaha se shiru kar do, the number is going to be the same. Is this okay? So, uh, we understand what is the meaning of a palindrome now. And they are asking us to find out a four digit, four digit palindrome that is, that is divisible by 36. So, one, how a four digit palindrome would look like. It is gonna look like this A, B, B, A. You understand this and the second thing that you need to understand is what is going to be the divisibility rule of 36 and if you have seen video number two a divisibility rule of 36 will be if you do the prime factorization of 36 that is going to be 2 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 3 or 4 and 9 a number which is divisible by 4 you know the rule and a number which is divisible by 9 both is certainly going to be divisible by 36 is that okay now so what do we have to do we have to find out in in this structure we will have to apply the divisibility rule of 4 and divisibility rule of 9 do you understand this so now ka divisibility rule hota kya hai sum of digits must be divisible by 9 so agar aap sare sare digits ka sum nikal lo yahan pe so sum of digits would look like this 2 times of a plus 2 times of b so this is a plus b plus b plus a. This is what is the sum. Hai na ji? Ab ye kitna aana chahiye? Ye hona chahiye 9 ka multiple. Right? Aur agar ye 2 times a plus b likh diya mene. To ek to cheez aap samjho ye. Wo ye raha ki uh, a plus b into 2. So this is an even number. Any number that gets multiplied with 2 turns out to be an even number. Aur agar ye even number hai. तो फिर क्या होना पड़ेगा 9 की टेबल पे अगर आप देखोगे तो ये आएगा 9 एंड देन 18 एंड देन 27 एंड देन 36 सो फोर्थ एंड सो ऑन सो दिस नंबर इसके बाद तो होगा नहीं इट विल बी इट विल नॉट बी 9 इट विल नॉट बी 27 सो दिस कुड बी आइदर 18 और 36 सो सो दिस नंबर आउट हियर व्हाट डिड आई से नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हाउ दिस इज एन इवन नंबर एंड हाउ दिस कुड बी 18 राइट एंड 36 इज आल्सो अ पॉसिबिलिटी तो जैसे ही मैंने ये बोला इसका मतलब क्या हो गया इसका मतलब हो गया कि a plus b आएगा कितना a plus b will turn out to be nine is it okay a plus b will be uh, will be nine now now you you see this last two digits which is b a now b a should be divisible by divisible by four and and over here this is coming out the sum is coming out as as 9. So, this is how, this is what we can do over here. What we can do is, now we know this is BA. Now, this number BA should be divisible by 4. Now, this is 1 le lo, or this is 8. Le lo. You understand? Ya to isko 8 le lo, or this is 1 le lo. This is 1 pair. Bhai, dono ka sum to 9 ho hi raha hai. Is that okay? But then, these two numbers are not divisible by 4. Why? Because neither the 18 nor the 81. They both are not divisible by 4. Now, if it is not the case, it could be 2, 7 because 2 plus 7 is also 9. Or you could do 7 and 2. Now, try to understand this thing over here. 27 is not divisible by 4. But 72 is, a, is, is divisible by 4. So, we have got one pair. We have got one pair which is divisible by 4. So how this number is gonna look like? This number is gonna look like like because this is last is 72. So this will be 7 and 2. So this is this is the one number which is certainly going to be divisible by 36. You understand why this is happening. 
Now, if you have figured it out, what we can do is with 2 and 7, we can take 3 and 6 or 6 and 3, that is another pair. 63 is not divisible by 4, but 36 is divisible by 4 and hence we can have one more pair that is divisible by 36, which is, which is if last two digits are 36, so this number is going to look like this, 6336, is that okay? Now, uske baad mein, it, you can take 4, 5 and 5, 4, but neither 45 nor 54, they both are not divisible by 4 and hence you will not be getting a pair. Now, if 4, 5 and 5, 4, 4, what will be a pair? 3, 6 will be made. But it has been done all of this. So, this is what is the possibility. You understand this? So, how many numbers are going to be possible by using this thing? You can have only these two numbers that are possible. Necessarily, these two are palindromes and are divisible by 36. Now, one more thing we did was that 2 times A plus B, if if it is either 18 or it could be 36 is that okay so what could be the positive what could be the sum of a and b it would be 18 right and if a and b the sum is going to be 18 there is only one possibility that these two numbers necessarily should be 9 and 9 because a and b both of them are one digit number or unka range kya hoga hai hape is 0 se leke 9 tak yehi to range hoga और अगर ये 99 हो गए अगर ये दो के दोनों नंबर सेम हो गए तो लास्ट के लिए लास्ट टू डिजिट के लिए पॉसिबिलिटी क्या बनेगी सिर्फ और सिर्फ 99 बनेगी अगर आप बोलना चाहो तो 9999 पैलिंड्रोम बोल सकते हो पर कोई मतलब है क्या उस बात का और अगर आपने बोला कि भाई 99 शुड बी द लास्ट टू डिजिट्स दिस नंबर इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी डिविजिबल बाय 4 हेंस यहां से कोई पेयर हमें नहीं मिलेगा तो पेयर मिलेंगे कहां से यहीं से तो मिलेंगे so how many such possibilities exist? There are only two such possibilities where four digit numbers will be palindrome and will be divisible by 36. So I hope that you are understanding. So ye kya hua? Agar aapne video number 3 dekhi, to usme humne bade simple simple problem lagaya thai. Ki 15 ki divisible rule kya hoi? Ya 88 ki divisible rule kya hoi? Ya, ya humne last mein kuch number eliminate kar diya? Ya 4 ki divisibility se kar diya? Aap question ki difficulty level badhti rehti hai? But basics, I always say this, basics will always be the same. If you understand basics thoroughly, difficulty level kuch bhi ho jaye, aap problem bade hi aram se laga sakte ho. Right? Chuchalu chalte se hain aur solve karte hain dousra problem. Now read the problem, pause the video and solve it on your own. So it says that if x and y are two digits of the number, this number, this number, such that, such that, the number is divisible by 80. So there are two things that we need to we need to focus upon. Or हमारे को क्या निकालना है यहाँ पे? We need to find out the value of x and x and y. Now understand this thing. If six five three x y, if these numbers are going to be divisible by 80, one thing which is necessarily clear is y and and this number they should be because numerator will also have to have zero at the unit pace hence we can say that y will necessarily be zero is that okay and if y becomes zero at the last three places what do we have now then we have got 5 3 and x now this 5 3 x because now we have only eight is left in denominator so 53x ko kisse divide karenge? 53x must be divisible by 8, right? And if you divide it by 8, what is that you will be getting? 8, 8, 7, ja to nahi hoga. 8 into 6 is 48. And this is what you are left with, 5x. Aur agar aap 8 ki table dekho, to last mein, if 5 is at the 10th place, what should be the value at unit pace? 8, 6 or 48, 8, 7 or 56, and then you have got 64, and then you have got 72, and then you have got 80. So if 5 is at 10th place, which digit should be there at unit pace? It should be nothing but 6. 6 hi to aya, aur kya kuch aya? To aur agar hamare ko ye mal gaya ki bhai, x ki value to 6 ho gai, 
और जैसे ही आपको ये पता चल गया कि x की वैल्यू सिक्स आ गई आपको निकालना है क्या है यहाँ पे आपको निकालना है x प्लस वाई वाई बींग जीरो वाई बींग जीरो एक्स बींग सिक्स एक्स बींग सिक्स वट इज गोइंग टू बी द सम ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई द सम ऑफ एक्स वाई कम्स आउट एज सिक्स तो सॉल्व दम ऑल राइट एंड एंड what you can do is rather than rather than watching this these questions over here you can go in the description box i have written all those problems there so what you should do take it as an exercise solve those problems and then come back and and watch these videos and that is how they are going to be very effective the idea is that you should be solving these problems first and then you come back to me and together we can solve your doubts is that okay chalo chalo is wale problem ko solve karte hain what is what is this question uh the six digit number this number is a six digit number and is a multiple of 33 right for a non zero digits so they are they are telling you categorically that a and b will not be zero which of the following could be the possible value of a plus b so one thing which is very very clear is uh 33 is a composite number 33 is a composite number which is 3 into 11 so a number which is a multiple of 3 and and 11 is also going to be a number which is going to be multiple of 33 to itna to clear ho gaya hamare ko to ab karna kya hai ab karna kya hai ab ab dhyan se dekho na to 5 a b b 7 a if you find out the sum so sum will be 5 plus 7 12 which is 12 plus 2 times of a Plus two times of b. So this entire sum should be divisible by three. That's that's one thing. Another analysis is if this number will have to be divisible by will have to be divisible by eleven. What you can do? You start from the unit base. You take this and this and this, right? A and b and 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 this a. So this one is two a plus b. So sum of digits at all places is this, whereas sum of digits at even places is this. Five plus b, ah, uh, five plus b plus seven. So that is coming out as twelve plus b. मैंने क्या बोला कि हम क्या करेंगे? हम तो mod निकालेंगे, बड़े वाले में से छोटे वालों को सब start करेंगे. तो अगर क्योंकि this number will have to be either zero or eleven, so we will start with zero. और अगर आपने इसमें से किसी में से किसी को घटा दिया, तो ध्यान से देखो होगा क्या? The B gets cancelled from both of them, and you have got two A, two A negative twelve is going to be zero, right? So, so if you simplify this thing, the value of A comes out as the value of A comes out as six, right? Now, if you have understood this thing, the value of A comes out as six. Now, here we have got here we have got twelve plus two A. Now, two A is coming out as this further is twelve. This further is twelve plus two b. Now this one should be a multiple of three. Now try to understand this. Twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. Twenty-four to divisible hai na. So twenty-four plus uh, there should be number which is also a multiple of three. So this twenty-four ko to ham discard kar dete hain. Bhai kya dimag lagana? Iska matlab aagya ham aage tigge kahan pe two b pe. Now two b should be a multiple of three. And because two b is two into b, it necessarily is an even number. इसका मतलब क्या हो गया कि अगर आप बी अगर आप टेबल देखोगे जो थ्री के मल्टीपल्स होते हैं उसमें क्या होता है पहले थ्री आता है तो थ्री तो होगा नहीं तो फिर क्या आएगा सिक्स आएगा सिक्स के बाद नाइन जो हो नहीं सकता तो क्या आएगा ट्वेल्व आएगा एंड देन एंड देन यू विल हैव एटीन एंड देन यू विल बी हैविंग ट्वेंटी फोर्थ सो फोर्थ एंड सो ऑन सो दीज आर गोइंग टू बी द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ दीज आर गोइंग टू बी द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ ऑफ बी सो नाउ वट डू आई हैव टू डू आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट विच पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी वुड एग्जिस्ट नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस A necessarily is A necessarily is six. We need to find out A plus B, right? A to our six has come. If we take this value from here, right? Two B. If we take two B as six, what is going to be the value of B? B is going to be three from there. That's one value which is possible. Six plus. If I take twelve, two B as twelve, what is going to be the value of B? Will be six, right? So that's another value which is possible. And if I take this eighteen, so that's going to be six plus nine. That's another value which is possible. Try to understand. This will be nine. This will be twelve, and this is going to be fifteen, right? 
अब आप ऑप्शन देख लो यहीं पे क्योंकि इतनी दूर क्यों जाना है ऑप्शन देखेंगे नाइन ट्वेल्व और फिफ्टीन में कौन सा ऑप्शन यहां पे एग्जिस्ट करता है नाइन एंड हेंस दिस आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी नथिंग बट नाइन काम हो गया खत्म समझ में आया आपको बड़ा बड़ा सिंपल सा प्रॉब्लम है ये आपको थर्टी थ्री की डिविजिबिल रूल निकालनी थी पॉइंट नंबर वन थ्री एंड इलेवन का रूल आपने लगाया पॉइंट नंबर टू फिर उसके बाद में आप इलेवन से कुछ वैल्यू निकाली पॉइंट नंबर फोर उसके बाद में इतने सारे ऑप्शन आपने क्रिएट किए और उसके बाद में वहां पर ए प्लस बी में प्लग इन करके देखा विच इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर एंड दैट इज इट राइट तो ये था ये प्रॉब्लम आई होप दैट यू आर गेटिंग दिस वन अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू यू नीड टू गो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स अच्छे से जाके वहां पे सारे प्रॉब्लम लगा के हो ताकि ये वाली वीडियो का काम बन जाए नाउ दिस इज व्हाट वी हैड इन दिस वीडियो इन वीडियो नंबर फाइव वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी डिविजिबिल रूल ऑफ नाइन एंड नाइन आपको तो आपको नाइन के डिविजिबिल रूल तो समझ में आ गई But what would be divisible rule of 99 or 999 or maybe or maybe this thing? So this is what is going to be the agenda of video number five of the series. Uh, till then, uh, bye bye and take care. Uh, study very well and thank you very much for watching this one. Bye bye.